Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? How's everybody in the vinyl community on this lovely Saturday? Well, I finally got some time to watch some videos. And like I said, yesterday's video, I would get on some contest or some threads or whatever happening. And um, there's a thread going around. I just saw Anthony Gambler do it. And I went and it introduced me to a person who new to me in the vinyl community, who's probably been around way longer than I have, uh, Olivier from the Vinyl Lounge, Montreal. And he wants 10 albums with dudes with beards. So I went through my records and, you know, I don't have a whole lot of country and stuff. So, you know, did the best I could, but I did get 10 albums with guys with beards a little easier than I thought it would be. So I thought I'd jump on this contest real quick. As you can see, I cannot grow a beard. See right here? No hair grows here. So if I grow a beard, I look Amish. I have this beard that just grows from here to here. I'm jealous of jealous of Olivier's beard. I mean, his beard's awesome. I can grow a long goatee, but my hair only grows to like here. So I look like I've got some sort of weird Amish beard. So that's why I do not have a full beard. And this is getting a little long, so I may have to cut some of it off. I don't know. All right, so 10 albums with guys with beards. Now the first one... This beard, honestly, is a little weak. Bow, wow, wow. Uh, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Uh, this guy right here has a little bit of a beard. Um, but uh, I just picked this record up. This is a really good record. I did like it. So there's a guy with a beard there. So like I said, that one's a little weak. But this next beard is one of those awesome beards. Here we go, Fleetwood Mac. Uh, there we go. Rumors. There's Mick with his kick-ass beard. Mick always had a killer beard. So I wish I could grow a beard like that, but I cannot. Okay. Number three, Pantera, Cowboys from Hell. Right here, there's Vinny Paul. Um, his beard's a little thin here, but later on he grew an awesome beard, but it's kind of hard to see on the cover. But yes, he has a beard right there. Pantera, Cowboys from Hell, Vinnie Paul's got the beard. Um, and Dime's got a little bit of a beard going on here. He never really kept a beard. He mostly grew that purple goatee. So, um, Pantera, Cowboys from Hell. Okay, you know me. I can't go a day without showing some kiss. Here we go. A little later, Edward Carnival Souls. There's Bruce Kulick right there sporting his beard. At this point in time, Gene had a beard too. Well, the album before that, Revenge, Gene's got a beard, but he's not on the front cover of that record. But luckily enough, I found this one. You know, most Kiss albums, it's really hard to see a guy with a beard because they've always been wearing makeup. This is obviously the last non-makeup album, Carnival Souls, very underrated album. Bruce Kulick, guy with a beard. All right, the all-powerful Motorhead. Here we go, Ace of Spades kind of hard to see their faces this obi's blocking this but all these guys have beards always have beards lemmy's beard was awesome so i mean you can't do this thread without showing some motorhead right right okay here we go seals and cross those are some killer beards well the ones are definitely a killer beard the other one's a little patchy here and there but there we go seals and cross this is get closer um I found this record. It was actually found and gave to me. And I've listened to it a couple times, a little soft for my taste, but it does fit the thread very well. Guys with beards. All right, this next one, kind of cheating a little bit. Oh, hey, my, uh, my shade just went away, so now there might be a glare. Led Zeppelin, self-titled, right there. Guys, grizzled old man, got a beard. Um, I hope this counts, even though it's not a, it's a painting or whatever. This is iconic. This guy does have a beard, a grizzled old guy. So there we go. Led Zeppelin, self-title or Led Zeppelin 4 or whatever you want to call it, right? All right, here we go. Molly Hatch flirting with Disaster. Um, killer beard on our kick-ass Viking looking guy here who's, Looks like he's out to kill some people. Uh, Vikings grew a great beard. I have Viking blood in me. Apparently, the whole beard gene skipped me. So, 
Okay, and we're going to go right to here. Sergeant Peppers by the Beatles. George Harrison sporting a beard right there. George always had it. Well, not always had a beard, but later on in life it had a beard. Um, during certain eras, of course, you know, they went through their whole hippie thing and grew beards and everything else. So Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I'm assuming this record has been shown a million times in the VC, but I'm showing it for the thread because there's George with a beard. And last, but definitely not least, the Bee Gees. This is the here at last, the Bee Gees live. These guys always had killer beards. I remember growing up and the Bee Gees were playing, you know, in the 70s, you know, uh, all these guys had killer beards most of the time. So there we go. The Bee Gees, guys with beards. So there we go. 10 albums, dudes with beards. Um, like I said, Olivier, uh, new to me, I just, you know, thanks to all you guys showing, you know, a couple of threads out there. Uh, seems really cool. Uh, looks like a fun guy. This is a fun contest. He's giving away a killer prize for those of us who have facial hair. Um, so go ahead, go check it out. I'll put a link down below to his thread. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a great weekend, all. We'll talk to you later.